Let's take up the question number 4 of this paper. In an ellipse with center at origin, if the difference of the lengths of major axis and minor axis is 10, clear? And one of the foci is 0, 0,5 root 3, meaning we can see that the ellipse is along y axis that is its major axis then the length of its lattice rectum is. So, if I consider the question like ellipses say x square by a square plus y square by b square equals 1 where b is greater than a just remember I am considering this point and saying that b is greater than a. So, here difference of lengths of major axis and minor axis that is 2b minus 2a is 10 giving me b minus a is equal to 5 say equation number 1. This is clear. Next, one of the foci is 0, 0,5 root 3, correct? So, we can write here b e is equal to 5 root 3, fine. Now, we have the result for eccentricity involvement as a square equals b square into 1 minus e square, right? Now, we can put the values here. We have b square minus a square is equal to b square e square that is 75. We have the value for b minus a as 5 substitute here. So, you get b plus a is equal to 15 right this is equation number 2 now simply add 1 and 2 a is cancelled you obtain from 1 and 2 b is equal to 10 a is equal to 5 question is length of lattice rectum so just write down therefore length of lattice rectum is equal to which is given by 2a square by b, correct? So, just put the value here, a is 5, b is 10, this gives you 2 into 25 upon 10, that is simply 5. Let us see from the given options, 5 that is option number 1 is the correct answer. So, I am sure this question is clear. Let us move on to the next one that is question number 5. A student scores the following marks in 5 tests, 45, 54, 41, 57, 43. His score is not known for the sixth test. If the mean score is 48, if mean is given, we can get the sixth score as well. In the sixth test, then the standard deviation of marks in six tests is simple, but will take some time because it is from statistics. So, let us start this question. We know that the data is 45 plus 54 plus 41 plus 57 plus 43 plus x whole divided by 6 is equal to mean given to me 48. Simplify to get the value for x. From here, we get the value of x as 48. Right, so we get the value of x. Now, what we need? Standard deviation. So, let us write down standard deviation, it is given by square root of summation xi minus x bar whole square, where i is from 1 to 6 divided by number of observations that is n. Right, put the value here and get the result. So, this is square root of 1 by 6 multiplied with. You write here 45 minus 48 whole square that is 9 plus 54 minus 48 square that is 36 plus next is 41. So, you get here 49 plus next is 57 you get 81 plus next is 43. So, you are getting here 25. Simplify to get the result 10 by root 3. So, let us see from the given options. 10 by root 3 that is option number 2 is the correct answer for this question. So, I am sure this is clear. Let us move on to the next question. The tangent and normal lines at the point root 3 comma 1 to the circle x square plus y square equals 4 and the x axis form a triangle. The area of this triangle is, so the question is one circle is given tangent and normal 
at point root 3 comma 1 to the circle and x axis form a triangle. So, let us start this one. We draw the coordinate axis x axis y axis circle like this one right. Now, we have tangent at root 3 comma 1 as root 3 comma 1 here we draw the tangent line at this point like this correct. Then we have a normal at this point like this question is saying find the area enclosed by this tangent normal and x axis meaning area of this triangle. I am sure this question is clear. So, we need the area of this triangle this point is known to us as root 3 comma 1 right. So, let us find out the tangent at root 3 comma 1. Equation of tangent at root 3 comma 1 is simply root 3 x plus y is equal to 4. So, this is the equation of tangent. So, we can find coordinate for this point by substituting y equals 0. So, it comes 4 by root 3 comma 0 right. Now, the requirement is area of triangle. So, the area of the triangle is coming as half into base that is 4 by root 3 into height that is 1. So, it gives us 2 by root 3 square units as the required area. So, 2 by root 3 that is option number 1 is the correct answer for this question. So, I am sure this is also clear. Let us move on to the next one that is question number 7.